is journal reading number seven, I believe. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five. Five journals from September 29th. Let's get started. So, the first one is from like my very first, one of my very first journals. It's it's seriously falling apart. Like the front thing that looks just like this has fallen off and this one's hanging by a thread. Um, but I've kept it and of course, I mean, why, why wouldn't I keep it? It's got all my like very early writings. And the cool thing is, <clears throat> So, the the entry previous to that one is February 28, 2006, and then the entry after that is October 4th, 06. So it was kind of like like perfect that I was like looking for September 29th, and this one has like random days in it, and it happens to have September 29th in it. What? How like crazy? Cause that it, that usually doesn't happen. I usually look through it and it either just has it or it doesn't and it's either and it's usually really consistent entries but not this one so it's pretty cool to find today's entry so it says dear diary hey I haven't written in here for a long and I didn't write time but I was, that's probably what I meant to say I mean the last time I wrote in here was in February 2806 and Michelle my best friend at the time just wrote on my diary darn her no I'm kidding I love her as my own sister. Hugs, hugs, blah, blah. Now let's get to the school part. Today was the last day of school and I have to go pee, dot, dot, dot. Oh, I feel good. Hey, did you know that these people across the street, they are cussing their mouths out? The guys keep hitting the girl's car with the stool. Okay, well, me and Michelle are going to write notes. Bye, sincerely, Madeline. P.S. Michelle is sleeping over. Uh, I kind of remember that day ish like and the way that I would write these entries at such a young age was just so like not necessarily cringy but kind of like why did you write like that <laughs> so I guess it, I guess it is a little cringy but ah <sighs> yeah good times and then the next one was from uh let's see this is this is 2012. More recent. Let's go back to let's go to a, an older one. I didn't put these in any order. I just kind of found them. But this one's from 06 as well. I think I had a few journals at the same time, so I wrote in this one as well. So it's probably not going to be as interesting as that one. But it says, "Dear diary, today is the last page of my diary. Yeah, I'm having two weeks off. I should get everybody's phone number." Wow, this looks awesome. Well, there has been hard times. I said this is awesome because I had like a col colorful, like multicolored pencil. And so, like you could, you know, rotate it to this side and it would be purple and blue. And then you wrote it to, rotate it to this side and it's like green and yellow and it's cool. Um, wow, this looks awesome. Well, there has been hard times and some good times, but trust me, I will write again. Bye, bye, bye. Madeline, P.S. Now I can write in a different one and write my lungs out. 7-16-09, life is dramatic and short as it's going to be, but I'm wishing myself a happy life to come. How cute. And for me, this one kind of like symbolizes like how everything in your younger days is kind of like, ah, oh, so like so in your face and so new and stuff, and then you get older and you kind of calm down. You like don't freak out about the big things and like you just trust that everything's going to be okay. So I hope that inspires you a little bit. Um, let's see, 2014, 2015, 2012. Let's go 2012. Now, mind you, this is a really long one, but it's kind of funny. It's quite funny. So, on this very day of September 29, 2012, my mom and I were kind of in an argument a little bit, and my mom was just, like, really wondering why I wasn't fighting with her. Like, you're a teenager. You're supposed to hate my guts right now. So, um, 
and she was kind of nagging me about it, like, get mad at me, like, fight with me or something, you're always too nice. And I just wanted to come into my room and write in my journal, and my mom came in and followed me, and wrote this on my journal. I don't know how well you can see that. See that first line? My mom is a bitch. <laughs> my mom wrote that. Wrote that right in front of me. Like, I was watching her write that. And I was the one that made the exclamation marks because I was just like, Argh, what the heck? And then I, like, kind of, like, knew that I might sound sarcastic, but I really wasn't trying to. <laughs> I was really kind of upset and confused and like, why are you doing this to me? So I wrote... I see the lesson she was trying to teach me. I stand up for myself. And, you know, like this, I read read a little bit of it, and I'm, like, kind of cringy about it because I don't believe this now. Like, this is not what I believe now, but this is what I wrote at the time. This wall I've put up needs to be let go. I've become so numb to the fact that Mom really has been a jerk to me in the last six years, and I'm glad she recognizes that and is able to teach me in the best way presentable. Anyway, I haven't been treated nicely, nor do I treat myself nicely, and I had no idea there's, there was a difference between sloppy sloppy and cool sloppy. I've just been sloppy sloppy, and that's going to change. 11.29 a.m. I hadn't realized how high in the clouds my head has been. I, I can blame that on Dad. He has always been like that. I always wondered, why can't he just be a simple dad that has a comfy couch and reads the newspaper every morning? That has reciprocated onto me. I don't play my part in life just being me. Check. I crossed her off my to talk to list. I texted her four messages about how she has been a good friend and I told her that it hurt my feelings that she isn't able to trust me. Now I can breathe. Ah, I'm not sure who I'm talking about at all. I probably still want to talk to dad also to get some stuff off my chest. I'm really tired of accepting, or from now I accepted his behavior, his drink, his beer drinking, bad language, car crashing, all-nighters in the garage, etc. And the cool thing is, now that I feel comfortable and confident enough, I might actually be able to. I don't think I did. <laughs> I also want to paint my nails first, so many people have been able to accept me even on my weird days, especially in 5th period Spanish. Angel Bronbright, Bonbright Schultz has accepted me. If she didn't, she wouldn't have talked to me at the school dance, you know? I am so loved. And not until now have I realized that, wow, it took one example of someone who thinks I am awesome to realize that I am loved. That person in the, ex in the example is Stephanie Ornelas. Mom says she thinks that I am one of the cool girls in school, and besides the fact that I am, I appreciated the unconditional love Stephanie has for me. I had no idea she thought of me so kindly. I thought she was mean and kind of snotty, but I guess I judged wrong, and I am personally sorry for that. Maybe I'll write her a note about that, and we can get we can be good friends. Now to paint my nails, 12.05 p.m. This is a quote I read from The Hunger Games. I may be small and naturally, but overall my family's resourcefulness has given me an edge in that area. I stand straight and while I'm thin, I'm strong. The meat and plants from the woods combined with the exertion it too to get them have given me a healthier body than most of those I see around me. Dang, that's way cool. I, for some reason, found this an interestingly eye-opening quote, survival of the fittest, 5.47 p.m. Having dinner with Rainbow around 6 p.m. Yay, let's hope I'm not tired for very long. I'm back now. I had dinner with Rainbow. I had shrimp fettuccine with hot red pepper oil instead of Alfredo, which would have made me more gassy than I already am. Haha. <laughs> This meeting with Rainbow has made me realize that I need to become extremely conceited with myself to figure out who I am, etc. My future life is expanding right before my eyes. The future is near, more like now. Anyway, the, week the weekends are usually when I take a step forward, and yet the weekdays are when I feel like I'm taking a step back or two. That's no bueno, and it'll definitely change. I am 18 now. Time to explore and... Annoy, laugh, cry, be on my toes, down to earth, etc., and simply not care about the judgmental people. Have good friendships and relationships, and that reminds me that I have to write a note to David Flores, one of my high school friends. 
There are so many, oh, there is so much stress in the world that I don't need nor do I deserve. All this divorce bullcrap is done. I'm going to get over it. My, my parents divorced. I'm going to get over it and have fun now. That and little simple annoyances, i.e. Tegan bugging me, Taya rattling my whole desk with their feet in Spanish class, etc. I will have the balls to tell Taya to stop rattling my desk. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, it's about 9 p.m. ish. Rainbow is visiting with mom. Spencer's playing the piano. Marlo and and Tegan are are Marlo and Tegan different are somewhere amongst the hatch premises. LOL. I feel like I should go make my bed and go say goodnight to Rainbow and Mom and thank Rainbow for the dinner and answering my questions about the 13th year. BRB. And that's that. I hope you were able to follow that. Okay. And then... For this one, it's, I probably won't read the whole thing, if at all. Hmm. Kind of boring. Yeah. Listening to music, found a cool song, talking to my boyfriend, went to work. I like laying on my stomach. It's better posture for me than slouching and sitting up like this. Oh uh, yeah, nothing very interesting in that one. But this one, this one's pretty juicy and interesting. Because for two reasons. This was when the 29th of 2014 in September was the day that me, my boyfriend's dad, and my boyfriend's dad's boss all went to Delaware for, um, we actually were coming home from Delaware, but we went there to visit my boyfriend because he's in the Air Force and to go to the races in Delaware. And so, this is pretty long too. I feel like I've taken up like all of my reading time from that big journal. Um, but yeah, basically, like, I talked about the whole trip, and I found out that my grandpa Hatch passed away on the 26th, so like a few days before I left for my trip, I think, or the day of, or the day that I left or something, and so that kind of, like, reminds me of, like, how my dad was, my dad's been there with my grandparents for a while to take care of them because they're getting, they're, you know, getting older. They need more help than they used to, and, um, so my grandpa was passing away that day, the day that I, like, left to go to Delaware, and I had no idea. It's just so crazy that that happens, you know? Um, first grandparent to pass away it was a little hard. Um, but yeah, my dad was there for him, and... Yeah, that was good. So yeah, it's a heartfelt entry for me because not only did I have fun, but I found out, you know, like, for some reason it just has so much, like, memories to it. Just one entry has so many memories to it. So, so yeah, that's all of them. I hope that you are able to enjoy that and that you press the like button if you liked it. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, and let me know if you like some more journal reading videos. I've got plenty. I really do. i got plenty of, like, 35 journals that I could look through and just keep making more of these. Because I love to share my journal entries. Pretty interesting. <laughs> Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye!